All right, War 7, Season 34. My team here is both Magnetos and Cap IW. I have White Mags with me for two of my own fights where I'm going to apply a pre-fight. And then I'm applying one for an Alliance mate in Section 3 later on. So I'm going to use one on this first fight here on Maw. Uh, the note itself is Conflictor, so I'm going to take away the parry stun debuff and turn it into a parry stun passive. That way I don't have to worry about Conflictor triggering. And I've taken Maw on Conflictor before, but normally it's in Section 3. So the only difference here is this one doesn't have that weird prowess puncture node. Instead it has uh, power efficiency. Yeah, power efficiency. So all of his specials are going to cost half of what they normally would. So I'm just going to be baiting out a lot more specials. Um, I don't like letting Maw get to a special 2. Uh, sometimes he throws it kind of fast. And I really don't like uh, trying to bait it out from him. So I'm just going to bait a bunch of special 1s. And if I can land a parry naturally in the, the normal flow of the fight, I'll drop a heavy to take him out of focus. But if it doesn't happen naturally... I'm not going to go out of my way to try to keep parrying him because with the power efficiency and the spacing, I don't want to let myself get backed into a corner. Uh, if I do get backed into a corner with the falter and trying to parry him and having him potentially be close to a special two, I don't want to have to fight my way out of it because I did not use an invuln. So I wouldn't be able to just tank a special three. So I'm just going to bait his special one, keep my spacing, and I'm going to hit him normal. See, he keeps throwing double mediums, so I can't actually land a reparry, which means I can't drop a heavy and take him out of focus. So I'm just going to pay attention to the falter. And I could have thrown my special three here and killed him, but I didn't know if it was actually going to kill him. So I'm going to end up wasting a bunch of time in this fight, trying to bait out another special before I throw it. And I'm just going to drop it this time in the corner. The last time I fought Ma, I tried charging the heavy in the corner and going straight to special three. And it didn't it didn't take my input on the button. So I'm not even fucking with that this time. I just went straight to special three. And it ended up killing him. I probably could have shaved like 30 seconds off that fight though. The next up here, I got this Penny on Vivified. So they originally had me assigned Red Mags to take this fight. And... I didn't want to take it with Red Max because, one, he won't get the passive stun from White Mags, and two, he will still get power burned with heavies. So, because she's metal, Red Mags wouldn't get auto blocked. However, he would still get the power burn from her triggering the auto block, and that would deal damage to me. So, the way I saw that fight going was. A whole bunch of heavies and taking a whole bunch of damage and potentially not being able to out damage the power burn with just heavies because I won't get special attacks so instead I went with cap and when I was thinking it through I thought all right maybe I'll bait special ones but I figured that would probably take 85 years to get through the fight because it would be a heavy bait a special heavy bait a special there's a lot of potential to get backed up that way and then I thought bait special twos. But I was like, sometimes she's a ninja with that special two. And she throws it when you're not expecting it. And if that thing hits me, uh, it's over. And then I get to explain to my officer that my plan was to bait special twos and be ready for them. And that I fucked that up. So instead, I figured I would just bait special threes. Well, not bait them, but push it a special three. Because the power burn damage from it really wasn't going to do that much. And I figured I could tank at least three of them. And I uh, should be done with the fight by then. It worked out really well. So next up, I got this Mysterio on Power Snack. And I'm going to be taking him with Cap as well. And my game plan is pretty much going to be the same as that Penny. Uh, I don't want to let him throw a special one. Because then I have to wait out that whole damage reflect uh, timer. And I don't want him to throw a special two. Because then he's going to power burn me for a little bit. And I'm going to have the chance to miss him while he has that whatever reflective crap he gets from his special two there. So I'm going to have to wait that out. So if he throws either of his first two specials, it's just going to be a whole bunch of waiting and dancing. 
And uh, whenever you have to do that in a fight, there's always the potential for an aggressive AI that pushes you into a corner. And I don't like letting myself get pushed into a corner. So I'm just going to push him to special three and I'm going to tank it. I still have the invuln from the penny fight. So I'm just reparrying, staying blocked so he won't throw specials. And the one thing I have to watch out for is Mysterio, I feel, has the same AI as Chavez. He likes to throw heavies randomly from anywhere on the map. So whenever he comes in to hit my block, there's a good chance he's going to hit my block once and then immediately go for a heavy. So as long as I'm prepared for that and I pay attention to it and don't let myself get hit by it, uh, I should be good. So he's right about to trigger backup recovery, but I am absolutely fine with that. I want him to get power. I want to keep pushing him to special three and just tanking it. And uh, I think I had it in my head that I could only throw special threes in this fight for the first half of it. And then I got here and I realized that, oh shit, I can use other specials. Um, because I didn't want to throw specials in the penny fight because she would auto block special one or two. And I didn't want to throw them in the maw fight because they would trigger debuffs and trigger conflictor. So I didn't realize that I could throw other specials other than special three in that Mysterio fight. But I figured it out in the end. So next up, I'm on path one. I got this IMIW. Uh, I've never taken this side of the map before. Um, well, I've taken path 3 over here and maybe path 2. I don't know. But I don't think I've ever taken path 1. Uh, so this is a new node to me completely. I guess when you dex now, it triggers buffet, but it gives him an actual regen buff. And maybe he triggers regen passives. I'm not exactly sure. But all I knew was that grayed out uh, thing there that says 1. I don't want to let that get to 10. And I figured that... The magnetism would probably stop most of whatever I had to worry about with the node from going on. But uh, just in case, if possible, I tried not to trigger dex too, too much. Um, but it doesn't seem to be eating my prowess buffs. and So I figured I was probably okay in this fight. I knew once I got to a special three that it would be night-night. And I really wasn't worried about IMIW going unblockable for 10 seconds. 10 seconds is really not that long of a time to dance around if you absolutely have to. Uh, so right here, I'm just trying to charge up double prowess. I probably could have dropped it at 22, but I didn't want to get stuck in his 15% below phase just in case it didn't kill him. So I just went with the overkill. Um, I actually have a 20% six hour boost on right now, along with a 10% attack and 15% health. Uh, I know mags doesn't really need boosts for fights, but I didn't think I could go into these fights unboosted. <laughs> so I had a six hour 20% boost that was about to expire. And uh, so I popped that on and then I popped the smallest I could of the other two because I figured if anything happens, I better be boosted. Um, and I have uh, mutant boosts on as well because I never use mutant boosts and why the fuck not? So this Hulkbuster is on safeguard and magnetism can bypass safeguard and sometimes it doesn't. Now I could have changed my masteries and put a pacify on I think to make it so that when I stun him between the magnetism and the stun it would be 100% ability accuracy reduction to guarantee that my special 3 would not trigger the safeguard. But I wasn't worried about this Hulkbuster. I knew that even if the Special 3 didn't hit hard, the bleeds following it would. And it turns out that it doesn't bypass Safeguard with the Special. But it's going to put a good amount of bleeds on him. He had 23 there. And I was watching how they were ticking down. And I figured that if they didn't kill him, they would bring him very close to being killed. And uh, But they're going to end up killing him. He's just going to drop over here as I throw a heavy. And that's going to be it for my war. So we ended up winning this one, 150 and six to 150 and 16. Our battle group's tied though. Um, yeah, that's all she wrote. So good luck on the season to those guys. I think uh, I think they're pushing masters. I'm not sure, I've seen them before, but I haven't seen them in a while. So I don't know how they've been uh, 
been doing in the standings. But good luck to them. Thank you for watching.